I got a question recently because I had mentioned um, incorporating trance states into your witchcraft, into your spell work. I also mentioned um, having a bell or clapping or um, a scent like burning sage before your, before your spell work or having a special kind of tea that helps with getting into a relaxed and trance state, kind of like mugwort. And they were just wanting to know a little bit more about this. So um, maybe you don't know um, about Pavlov's dog. Um, whenever, so there was this experiment done with this dog and they would feed the dog at the same time that they would ring a bell. And so the dog started to salivate anytime it heard the bell because subconsciously, you know, biologically, it felt like the food was gonna come. So it got to a point where you didn't even have to feed the dog. You could just ring a bell and it would salivate. It's used a lot in um, hypnosis as well. Um, and it's a way to trigger a certain psychological um, state. When you're in a trance mode, you're more connected to your subconscious. And so you have more of an ability to connect to um, like astral energies, deities, divination, that kind of, that sort of thing. And you're not hindered by your conscious, your conscious pattern. So that's to get into the state, to get into the um, sensitive um, subconscious state. You're also going to want to do something at the end of your rituals to like bring you back to life, to bring you back to like normal mundane life. I personally just clap three times. You for real don't have to clap three times or do anything to get you out of that state. It's just for if you like, you all of a sudden need to go to the bank or something, you're probably going to want to snap out of it. But um, you can definitely just like ease into your normal life after the ritual. Follow for more.